Y'all, this shirt, this shirt is like low-key too big for me. I got the big booty, small booty combo. So stuff up top don't really be fitting me how it should. Long time no see. Yeah, it's been hey love. So welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Um, I've been gone for like a year, but don't fret. Today is kind of like an updated makeup routine. I didn't really do much on the eyes, just kind of like simple eyeshadow with a wing. And of course, bomb lashes. These are not lash extensions. These are strip lashes. And yeah, see you guys at the end of the video. So I have nothing on my face, just some um, lip balm. I get like little bumps on my face. So I like to use hydrocortisone cream for that. Um, it just kind of evens it out, kind of smooths it out. But I always put this on my face morning and nighttime. So I'm gonna be using this as a moisturizer. This is the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. This provides lots of moisture to your skin. All you need is like a very little bit because a little bit goes a long way. And now I'm gonna be going in with the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid. I could never say that word. Um, this is just great for your skin overall, morning and night. It provides lots of moisture, especially if you are dry. My skin, it's not really, well, what I say how dry skin? I say dry to normal. Cause I'm not like extremely dry where I have like dry patches. But notice you guys that I don't really put product in my eyebrows because I like for them to not be like oily and shiny. So I'm gonna be using the milk hydro grip. I'm just gonna pat that to my skin. Instead of a brow wax, I do believe in brow waxes, but I just haven't got around to buying one. But I've been using the duo glue as brow wax to like make my eyebrows fluffy. So first I'm gonna just brush my eyebrows up. So I'm gonna apply. I'm gonna do one brow at a time just because it can dry down pretty quick. So, well not quick, but I just don't want it to be too dry when I get to the other side. I try not to get it on my, like around my brow too much. So I kind of try to focus it just in the brow. And as I'm like brushing my brows, I'm also like pushing it to the skin so it can lay flat. And now I'm gonna just do like this. Kind of put the top together. For concealer today, I'm going to be using the Shark Tape Tarte Shape Tape in the color Tan Deep Sand. I like the color and the coverage, so that's why I continue to use it. But I'm also going to be mix mixing it with the um, Juvia's Place Hydrating Concealer in number 11. And then I fill in my brows towards the end. That way I can see like how dark I want them. I'm gonna go in, in with my contour color and I'm gonna put that actually on my lid and use that kind of as like a guideline and a um, like a transition guideline. Take a creamy contour color, that's your color. And I'm just gonna outline so I'm just going to use my finger to blend out the edges I like to start at the front of the brow as well to start my nose contour I'm just going to take this Morphe um, bronzer it's in the shade leader and I'm just going to go over that with my um, with a fluffy brush this is the M441 brush. And I'm just gonna take this bronzer color and just kind of keep it low and diffusing it. So I'm just... Oops. 
this new persuasion palette by beauty by melissa this is a bomb palette mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. going to be using NARS. Um, this is the shade Macau and Cadiz. Um, this one's a little bit too dark for me, um, so I'm going to be mixing it with Cadiz. Since I do have like a little bit of um, acne marks on my cheek, I do need like a little bit more coverage. So that's why I built it up around my cheek area. This brush is from Morphe, the M449 brush. I've been really into like using a smaller brush. Now that I got my foundation on, I'm going to be going in with the same two concealers, the Juvia's Place and the Tarte Shape Tape. I'm going to apply the Juvia's first. And I'm just going to take that um, on the bridge of my nose and right in the, in the corner up under my eye. And I'm also going to put it right here on the outer. I am taking my Real Technique um, brush. Sydney, I'm going to go ahead and contour my face and I'm just going to start stippling it into my skin. I'm going to take my foundation brush and just blend out the edges of the contour. I'm going to go back in with the Shape Tape Concealer and kind of just brighten my inner corner a bit more. like so cream blush i'm going to be using the elf putty blush and this is the color i'm not sure what color it is but it's like a light um baby pink i'm just going to be using like a eyeshadow brush it's the morphe e27 For a setting powder today, I'm going to be using the Dermer Blend Translucent um, Powder. Um, I like this because it like it smooths out my under eye. I do want to try the One Size Beauty Powder because I heard great things about it. But for now, we're going to be using Dermer Blend, and I'm going to be applying that with a brush. I, I dip my brush, tap the excess off and push it into the skin. Dip, tap, push. Chin. Try to push these down because they keep falling. So for all over to set my face, I'm gonna be using the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder in the color 56. I have been using this for years now. Um, it works good. I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Bronzer in Coco Naughty. As you can tell, I've been using it forever. It's kind of dirty. I'm going to just take a powder puff that I got from Amazon. And I'm going to dip into the powder, the Derma Blend. And just kind of, I guess, bake right here. I just find that it gives an even brighter under eye when I do this. Um, don't take it that far down. Okay. 
don't have to do too much to my brows. Extending my tail just a little bit and just filling in the sparse areas. Becca Cosmetic Jaclyn Hill Palette. Had this palette for years. Um, it's a little beat up. As you can tell, it's like beat up horribly. And I like to keep my blush kind of high. I don't really bring it too low just because that lifts the face up. We don't want saggy cheeks. We want a lifted face. Lashes, I am team minks all the way, but because I don't have them on, um, I'm going to be using lashes. So when I look for lashes, I'm always trying to find lashes that like go upward, that like the ones that have like the C curl. I don't really like straight lashes just because they don't look cute to me. For the people that like straight lashes, that's for you. You got it, boo. These, these are the Le Flair NY Mink. And these are the number 69. And then I found the INV um, 3D collection and the 140. Um, I'm gonna take them out of the pack just so you guys can see them a little bit closer. You guys could tell like they have a, they kind of have like a, that C curl look, that mink lashes look. I'm gonna stack them. Because I like the way these are shaped, but I wanted a little bit more definition. So that's why I'm going to um, put two on. My lashes are definitely giving mink lashes. This is what I'm talking about, y'all. Let me turn to the side for y'all. See, I love a dark lash. I'm just going to be taking a dark brown liner. This is Cover FX and Soft Peach. This is the monochromatic lip color. On top of that, I'm going to be taking the Marc Jacobs and Moon Glow. This is the Marc Jacobs lip gloss. I'm going to be taking the Milk Hydro Grip um, Setting Spray and spraying it all over. I also really like this spray because it adds a sheen to your skin that gives like a natural glow. So this is the completed look. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, I'm definitely going to be coming with more videos. Um, I'm going to be doing more makeup. I'm going to be doing clothing hauls and maybe hair videos. I'm not sure yet. If you guys stay tuned, more is coming. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And see you in the next one.